Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. So, hope everyone is doing good and staying safe. If you have not yet subscribed to Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for quantity surveying related contents, videos, templates, information. I hope you are enjoying the different videos that I have been sharing in this channel and hope it is coming useful in your professional life. So, this video is mainly focusing on a checklist that can be used while doing your MEP quantity takeoff, especially the fire protection works. So once you're done with your quantity takeoff, you can open up this checklist. Once you fill this checklist, you can get an idea whether you have completely included all the important items that comes under a fire protection system. So if you see this checklist, I have divided the different items under different headings like sprinkler system, dry standpipe system, fire extinguishers, fire suppression. And under each system, there are different items, the major items. You have pipe works, ancillaries. Under ancillaries, there are a lot of ancillaries that might come, but I've included the important ones like valves, switches, instruments, measuring instruments, side glass. And sometimes in some special buildings or in different locations, there might be other ancillaries that is used. So you can include that here and mention that item's name here sprinklers fire hose cabinet pumps then the dry stand pipe system again pipe works under this system the ancillaries extinguishers and fire blankets the special fire suppression system that is used in some important rooms like the it room so in such rooms you cannot use sprinkler system because water might destroy the equipment inside that room so in such rooms, such sensitive rooms, such kind of suspension systems are used for fire protection works. So here there's a column where you need to mention the unit of measurement that is used to measure these items, whether it is in numbers or meters or square meters. Mostly fire protection works will be either in numbers or in meters. The pipe works will be in meters and the remaining all the items will be just in numbers. So once you have done with your quantity takeoff, you can fill out this column. Then you can fill the remaining details. Like for example, if these pipe works are measured. So if you see this heading measured and included in BOQ, assumed and included in BOQ, not applicable, not included in BOQ, included under professional sum. So this means that the particular item is measured from the drawings it is available in the drawings it was available in the drawings and it was also included into the boq for example if pipe works are like that you can just give a shade green sometimes what happens is the pipe works will not be shown in the drawings that might not happen and pipe works might not be there but like for example some measuring instruments so it was required in some parts and you know that this item is required in that areas but it is not given in the drawings so you're just assuming it and then putting inside the boq so for such items you can then shade green here under this column sometimes some items will not be there in the drawings will not be there in that building and you will not be required to include that in the boq so for such items you can shade green there for example side glass so some building some projects there might not be this item so for that you can just shade under this column and sometimes there might be items that is included as a professional sum you will not be provided with any drawings initially during the initial stage while preparing the boq but that item is there uh, and it would be included as a professional sum the design everything will be provided to the contract only on a later stage once the works begin so such items can be included under professional sum and a particular amount can be estimated and provided by the contractor so such items you can just shade under this column so once you're done with it you will understand that you what all you have included what all you have not included and where you have included whether it is under professional sum or inside the boq which with items that were not in the BOQ. So once this checklist is filled up, you can send it to your line manager, the person who is going to review it. So he or she will also get an idea about the fire protection system that is happening in this building. Easily, they can question you about why such and such an item was not there in the BOQ or they can ask 
just to recheck whether it is there in the drawings or not so this is a very simple checklist that can be used in your professional life so hope this small video was informative if you require this checklist you can mention your email id in the comment section i think youtube comments are not accepting the email ids so you can just connect with me through any of my social media platforms like linkedin or facebook i have a facebook page called quantity serving studio there is a instagram page called quantity serving studio or you can also contact me through linkedin i have my profile in linkedin too so you can just message me your email id asking me the checklist the fire protection works checklist so i can email you this checklist so thanks a lot for watching this video take care stay safe bye